everyone. Today we'll be having a look at a Grey Nichols Kronos Ultra Bow. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the brand new Kronos for Australia for this coming season. This one is an 1100. There is a higher uh, grade one. These ones retail for 569 or 65 recommended retail price. You can see there that says select grade one, but what a stunning looking grade one it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, slither of a ninth. This was purchased from Top Line Cricket in Melbourne. This is a mid profile bat. Basically, the spine profile follows the edge profile all the way through. So you've got a really effective hitting area all the way from there to there. This has the flat face, what they call the AccuDrive flat face. It's called the Ultra Bow, so it really bows from the mid out to the toe. Now this one had a little bit of a, a dent. I've had to get rid of it. I've spent a lot of time steaming that out. It was actually about that long. So these are the new stickers over the back. Uh, very nice. They've got sort of like a copper or brass. And in the bands you can see that with the black. Stickers have been fixed. Doesn't have the matte finish on the side. Or this side. These are all embossed through there. You can see a little bit of a honeycomb feature going on there. Very nice. It's a really stunning looking blade. So this has a U on it. It doesn't have the GN stamp on it which is for the specialist range but this one's definitely made in Australia. It's got all the hallmarks, the A, the U, but it also has one distinctive feature which is the strapping tape underneath. It's got three rubber. I noticed with the thy uh, thylacine that I reviewed that had the same quality handle, so it's pretty much the same price range. The Matrix Plus grip on it in black. It's a nice grip. These little ribs here really help it from riding up. And generally the handle feel is a semi-oval bottom hand. Decent thickness, a lot thicker than last season's, which is an improvement. I didn't really like how skinny last season's handles were, so this is a lot better. Slightly oval at the top, but um, more towards the round. So this is actually a handle that I like. I don't really like it when they're all the way oval, personally, my preference. Let's tap it up and hear what it sounds like. So low, mid-low, mid, mid-high, mid, mid yeah, nice bat. Edge size. See if it fits through. Yeah, it does fit through. And I would say it's just on a 40 mil edge. Width wise, so narrow to slight bit and that sort of helps it to get those big edges under and the spine peaks at about 62 millimeters so not a really tall spine but it's not a heavy concave bat it's got actually no concaving on it but I wouldn't quite call it the dome profile it's just pretty much straight through there's a little bit of a tiny bit of concaving there but nothing that you would notice okay so I finished knocking in the Kronos 1100 as you can see here and it's turned out really well. So stunning looking bat really for the uh, mid range, the 1100, under $600 mark. One thing I'll say about the press now that I've knocked a hell of a lot of them in, I'm really impressed with Grey Nichols, just the way they press the bat. I know people say about hard press, so they press bats too hard and all this type of garbage. Look, this actually makes your job as a, pl as a player who purchases a bat a lot easier. You're not going to have a bat that turns into the craters of the moon because it's so soft when you start knocking the toe or it splits because you haven't had uh, knocked it properly. All you have to do is basically make sure you've done the edge properly, done this portion of the blade and the other edge, given it a good rounding as you can see there. And this, most of the work is done for you in the pressing. Make sure you give it a good couple of oils. Uh, Grey nickels seem to respond pretty well to the oiling. But yeah, it turns out really nice. It's got that nice sheen to it. The finish on them is really good. I've got most of that little uh, nick out of it. I like this 
little detail here on the new stickers. I think it looks really aggressive in the new bats. So yeah, it's pretty good. So we'll tap this one up and you can hear what it sounds like. Low, mid low, into mid, into mid high, into high. So it's really going nicely right there, which is consistent with the profile. Peters out a little bit towards the toe. So it is nice and hard down there now. So the, pro the profile doesn't, even though the edge has still got a little bit left on it, there's not as much down there. It probably needs a little bit of a play in. But really speaking, if you're attacking on the drive, playing your cuts and pulls, it's a really nice shape and the flat face means that you've got a little bit off centre. Now I've been using my ultimate uh, flat face, uh, Grey Nichols Ultimate, and even though they say that it, it makes it a little bit wider, I still find that when, when you're playing your, your shots and you're mistiming them and they're hitting towards the edges, you do feel it. And it's probably not the best thing you want to do for any bat because you're just sort of introducing that twist in the blade. So yeah, pretty nice bat, and we'll turn the camera around and we'll bounce a ball on it. Really old four piece. It's not pinging as much as I expected off the old ball. Bring in the jukes. some play in. It's not quite pinging as well as some of the other bats that I've had in here, particularly the specialist range, even though this is made in Melbourne. It's, uh, it needs a play in. I would say, quite frankly, when you're looking at these bats, this is what I've found there seems to be a correlation between price and performance rather than looks as far as the Australian grey nickels go. So that is something to keep in mind when you're choosing a bat from there that generally in the grading there's some effort gone in to select the best performing timber not just the best looking timber. So that's the grey nickels Kronos, a mid blade for this year Brand new, thanks very much to Dave from Hobart, Kronos.